everyone, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to our new series, The Inside Story from the MBA Admissions Gatekeepers, sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. Today we're going to talk about how to get into MIT Sloan, one of the M7 schools and frankly, one of the most highly selective MBA programs in the world. So with us today is Patty Robertson, a director of Fortuna Admissions. Hi, Patty. Hi, great to meet you and nice to see you, John. Now you have MIT DNA, tell us why. Well, I'm a super fan, I would say. Um, when I was an undergraduate, I actually uh, studied economics and MIT is a powerhouse of economics. And so because we had cross registration, I made sure I could take as many classes as possible over at MIT. So I would take the, the, the train in from Wellesley to MIT and was able to study with Robert Solo macroeconomic analysis before he won the Nobel Prize in economics. So uh, it started there. Um, I always lived in Cambridge for 25 years, so MIT was part of my life. I had a startup out of the MIT Media Lab as a company doing digital things back in the beginning of the internet and, um, and then went back to MIT to work at Sloan and the LGA program in admissions and also worked for at MFIN oh, wow. and worked in executive ed, both at the professional ed for the engineering schools and also with Sloan for some major corporations building custom programs for leadership development. So I've had the good fortune of being able to be around lots of really smart people and uh, exciting new ideas that is kind of the culture of MIT. Now, Patty, what are the five key things that candidates should know about applying uh, to the MBA program at MIT Sloan? MIT Sloan is an integral part of MIT itself. So while MIT's mission is to uh, solve the great problems of the world to benefit humanity, leveraging science and technology, that the goal of Sloan is to develop principled leaders who share that mission. Right. So that's the first thing is understand that. And once you do, it'll also help you start percolating about what it is that I want to be as a person. What is my great contribution to humanity? So the second, and I think the most important thing that a candidate needs to do to get into a school that is driven on improving humanity would be to understand yourself. Oh. And that kind of introspection is necessary for, for every school, isn't it? For every school and for life, right? And so once you understand what MIT stands for and what's possible, who you are, then you can say, what have they got? Because I only have two years there and it's pretty quick. And figure that out and that'll help shape your essays in a, in a real and meaningful way that's tangible. You know, lots of people write things like, oh, I'm a great problem solver, but they don't really tell about how they did it <laughs> or what it meant. And so if you take a, a process for looking at it, what do they want? What do I do? What do I want? How do I fit in there? And how can I expand beyond? You're going to have an application that looks really great and it'll help you. And it'll also prepare you for your interviews. So, the interview basically just helps you tie up the bow where someone looks at your application and they say, here's a gap, this seems to be missing. And so the probes that you'll get on these interviews are going to be directly related to the gaps that they see in the written word or even in your video recommendations. So. And in recent years, Sloan has really streamlined its application process for the MBA. It's very different than a lot of other schools, right? It is. A few things that they have maintained is number one, the cover letter, and a lot of schools don't ask for a cover letter, right? And the addition of the video, I think, adds an extra dimension where it lets you show yourself and how you actually, how you would actually show up, which you never get to see on paper, and it used to be only the interview. It, in a way, it lets you have a little mini interview before you even get there. So I think that's a wonderful addition. Um, additionally, the org chart, allows them to see you in 3D, mm. not just where you sit hierarchically, but what do you have to navigate to accomplish things? Because look, we, we're living in a global world, global markets, global you know contri contributions. And I think right. as the world has changed, so has an MIT 
augmented the way in which it tries to collect data <laughs> because everything there is based on the scientific method, right? We observe something, we collect, we research and collect data, we evaluate what it means, and then we iterate typically at the end of it. You know, there's some, uh, there's some hypotheses and things in there, but it's, it's a similar process. So. so, Patty, do you have any final words of advice for aspiring Sloan candidates? MIT and Sloan is a place of discovery. It's a place of ideas. And so what you think, what you have to say, what your point of view is, is very important. So show it to us. Don't, you know, and show us, don't tell us, don't tell us you're a problem solver. Show us an example of how you did something and we will deduce <laughs> that problem solving was part of it or, or team building was part of it. And so I think, you know, take time to be who you are, be proud of it, be proud of your accomplishments and have your own point of view and a strong point of view and your application will shine. Patty, that's advice that I got in J school. Position, right? <laughs> <laughs> Patty, how can candidates reach you? If people are interested, um, they should go on to our site at fortunaadmissions.com and ask for a free consultation. Sounds great. Patty, it's been a true pleasure. Yes. That's Patty Thank Robertson, you so much. a director at Fortuna Admissions. And thanks to all of you watching. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. You've been watching the inside story from the MBA Admission Gatekeepers sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. In this episode, we explored how to get into MIT Sloan. In future episodes, we'll take on every elite school in the world. So watch out for them. Mm -hmm.